In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use and install the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator on a Linux system. Now, I'm using Ubuntu Mate 20.04, the long-term support. However, it will install on other types of Linux distributions and Windows and Mac system as well. And if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link that shows you a brief description, some of the basic features on how to use it. Now, this is not a user's guide. You know, I do have the links at the bottom for the user's guide if you want to understand more about the t using the TI-84+. Plus. But I will show you some of the basic features and how to install it on Ubuntu Mate or any other Ubuntu or Debian based systems. Now I will be installing it using the CMU emulator but let's first take a look at what the TI-84 Plus CE calculator is. Now CE stands for color enhancement. If you've ever used the TI-83 calculator before you know it's just basically not black and white but kind of black and gray or whatever the color is of the old calculator now this is a newer model it's been out for quite a while now but anyhow it's easy to use graphing calculator with high resolution full color backlit display and built-in math print feature that makes comprehension of math and science topics quicker and easier so as you can see here you can use color to graph different functions so you have a function for each of the different colored lines and I'll show you that in a few moments but before I do the math print feature that's built into here compared to the TI-83 plus calculator uh, before it didn't fractions didn't look like fractions we're well, using the math print feature they look exactly like what you would write on a piece of paper so let me show you how you would enter fractions in and then we'll take a quick look at how to use and then I'll show you how to install it on your system as you can see here is the TI-84 plus I do have the TI-83 and some additional uh, educational files as well but we're going to click on TI-84 plus CE once it loads you just switch it on like you would if it was an actual tangible calculator next to you on your desk so we're going to start with we'll reduce some fractions add two fractions and then add two mixed numbers and I'll show you how by using the features we're only going to be using for the these fractions two buttons along with these buttons here to enter the fraction you press the alpha key first and then the Y equals so you press alpha Y and that takes you basically to function number one here we're going to choose either one two three four one is just basically entering a fraction as you can see here the format number two is a mixed number a whole number plus a fraction number three allows you to go from a fraction to a mixed number or vice versa so if you had like eleven thirds uh, 11 over 3 the numerator is larger so you, that would convert over and make a mixed number number four feature allows you to go from a fraction to a decimal or back from a decimal to a fraction so in this case we're going to choose number one and when you do you don't have to press the enter key by selecting number one and let's enter in three fifteenths so the numerator is at the top enter three press the over takes it from numerator to denominator we'll enter 15 then we'll go over now we'll press the enter key and 3 fifteenths can be reduced to 1 fifth. 3 goes into 3 1 time, 3 goes into 15 5 times. Now this is not a math class, just showing you how you can use it. Now let's enter, add two fractions together with not, the, the, we don't have a common denominator. So we go alpha y, instead of pressing 1, since it's already selected to 1, I can press enter. Here I can go 1 over 5 over plus and then I go alpha y then I can press enter I can go 1 over 2 over equals as you can see here 10 is a common would be a common denominator 5 goes in the 10 2 times 2 times 1 is 2 5 goes in the 10 5 or 2 goes in the 10 5 times 5 times 1 is 5 5 plus 2 is 7 so 7 tenths is your answer now we're going to add, add two mixed numbers you go alpha y and it's no longer number one you can go down press the enter key so we are now ready to enter 4 over 2 numerator over to take us to the denominator which is 5 over I can enter my plus now I'm ready to enter my next mixed number, alpha y. Instead of going down, I'm going to just press the number 2. Now I'm ready to enter 6 over 3 over 
and then five, and then over. Now, when you go over, like if you're entering a number larger than a one-digit number, you continue to press it, and then when you're ready, you go over, and it takes it to the numerator. Now, when I press the Enter key, as you can hear, see here, six plus four is ten. The, you got five on the bottom, two plus three is five, five-fifths is a whole, so you take your ten plus the one, it equals eleven. So that's how you enter in your fractions into your calculator. It's just alpha y. So let's press the clear button. Scroll down to look at a graph. So when you're ready to graph a, f a function like you see here, and I just made my calculator size different. Let me resize again. I meant to move it instead of uh, resizing it. It doesn't matter. Let me move it over so you can see here. Here we want to press the y again and we want to graph x plus 1 and notice I tried to make them match the colors that you see up here where I've got one color is blue red and black so if you go down now to where it's got here I've got the blue to the blue line the red which is here and the black which is here so let's enter in x plus 1 so here's the button that enters x so let's go x plus 1 I can press the down error now I'm ready to go to the next line I go x square which is here then I say minus 6 I go down to the next now here I'm going to go 0 0.5 0 0.5 x now you can see here this is to the power of 3 so here is my like the, the little tilde or whatever symbol like tent you hit press that put the number 3 in now you got to press over or anything you press will be up here so you press over now I can say plus 2 x square I press over plus 1 now I'm ready to go down but I'm now ready to graph all of these when you're ready to graph you just press the graph button which is here so in a moment you'll see that it'll graph exactly what you see here on the the screen and while you're while you're doing that I'm gonna try to resize and that was the most aggravating part of this calculator that's why I didn't uninstall it and reinstall it it's because once you break it apart changing the size is very hard putting this thing back together so as you can see here going back up to my original problem the Y is the blue so the X plus 1 is this line the red is this line. The x squared minus 6 is this one. The 0.5x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1, that is, the. if you look the color code, the black one. So using the TI-84 plus CE, it has colored graphs, and you can match it up with here. So let's go out and clear that now, because we don't want that on there anymore. Now, you can go and change the window, like if your number if for your graph is, too, is not showing up, you can go and press the window button and change the numbers accordingly. But I'm going to quit. I'm not going to change that. Let me close it out now and show you. Let me cut it off and let me close it out. For some reason, it's not closed. There we go. I guess because I resized it. All right, let's say, for example, that you want to install the emulator on your system before you actually load the ROM. You can click basically any one of these. Like if you go to the download link, if you're using other type of distribution, you can see here, here's for the Windows, 64-bit, 32-bit, or other type of options for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm using the Linux platform, so I would go here. I click the download link for all distributions. And in a few moments, you can choose Arch, CentOS, Debian, Fedora, OpenSUSE, SLE SUSE, Ubuntu, or Unknown. I know that I'm using Ubuntu, so I can choose to add my repository and install it manually, or I can just grab the binary files. Now, you can choose whatever installation you uh, like. I choose to download the, the binary file, and once you do this, you look for what version now I'm using the long-term support 20.04, so it's got X Ubuntu, meaning like Lubuntu, Zubuntu, any of the Ubuntu derivatives and, and Ubuntu itself. I'm using the 64 Deb, the package which is here. So I would click on this and let it download. And from here, let's go back to my images where I show you here. I choose the 
Ubuntu, the 64-bit version, and it downloads this file. Now, when I double-click, it uses my package installer. And if you don't have GW on your system, if you're using Ubuntu or any of the other Ubuntu derivatives, you can just simply copy and paste that into your terminal, press the Enter key, and that will install the package installer, where you install things that looks very similar to the Windows environment, where you just click the Install button, put in your password, wait till it installs and when it says same version is already installed you can close that out now once you close that out uh, you then need to get the ROM from your calculator uh, in this case I, I go through and show you how you once that I've backed up my ROM and had it compressed then I've shown you how you can uncompress the ROM here then you type in CEMU which is the CEMU C emulator uh, that you put into the terminal so you open up the terminal type in CEMU and that will bring up the program the first time you run it when I had the dark install it was hard to read to that so I changed my color back to light so that you can read those and here's where when you uncompress your ROM and get it into a particular folder then you choose to browse my computer for the ROM that you have if you've got your calculator you can say create the ROM image from your calculator but to do that you already have to know how to hook your calculator up to get the ROM image from that and that's not the scope of this you can google that or I think I have a link on my website to show you how to do that but this is assuming you've already got the ROM from your calculator you click this particular folder here locate your ROM hit open and then it will tell you that you can customize and you hit OK the first time it opens it will look like this it won't look anything like a real calculator it will have the the window or screen portion your calculator reference and your calculator send your variables your capture your settings the console key and keypad when you click here it will change to the keypad and this was the hardest part of the installation getting this keypad drug out and placing it underneath where it connected to the screen so that's why I didn't uninstall it so to do that I realized you need to go to your settings and this is what the default settings look like here's where it's a bit tricky for my screen to work for dragging over the keypad and connecting to the top part I had to change my scale to 90 percent now on my laptop it was a completely different number so you have to learn what you can adjust here so that you can drag the keypad as you can see you drag it and then connect it to the bottom and that is where it's very aggravating eventually it will drag and connect to where it looks like one whole calculator so I'm going to unconnect it and it may be a pain in the rear to connect back but I'll show you because this was the most aggravating part so let me drag this over here and pull this back over here so I'm gonna kinda of resize this right now because I had a little bit too tall while I go and I'm gonna drag this part back and as you can see here you need to really drag this in where you don't have this part as well so this is where I'm gonna drag it where it's this long so now I'm gonna take and try to connect it back and it may start acting kinda of weird and there it did so let me go back and redrag and this is why I said it's a pain in the butt so let me go I got it above it's a pain in the rear alright I had it above sometimes you get it above it's easier to once you get it above then take the screen and drag that above up here and there we go and as you can see here it was a little bit of a pain but after a while you can connect the two now I think on a Windows system or maybe on other distributions you won't have these little title bars of screen and keypad it'll just merge together where you've got the key uh, or the window with connected to your keypad now stretch it to kind of make them the same width and so there you go so on my website I do show you how that you can go and change the resolution but you have to play around with that and then you drag it over and eventually it will connect as you saw me connect but it is a pain in the rear so I do have some additional information how can I combine the screens what other people will recommend and I do have links here that you can if you're having trouble click those links to compare or to connect them together if you're using Ubuntu Mate the first time you install the CMU it will only work by opening up the uh, 
terminal and putting CEMU into the terminal and it will bring up the calculator. If you would like to put that into the menu for Ubuntu Mate users, I show you how you can put this so that it places it within the education within your menu. And I do have a little icon at the bottom so that it will place it. The first time you open it up, as you turn it on again, once you connected those, you click here, go to education, TI-84+. Plus. And once it loads, it looks like this. And then when you turn it on, it will look like this. Now, the first time you look, uh, cut it on, it will be like in radians. But like I said, this is not really how you can uh, go through all the features. But if you wanted to change a lot of the things in on your calculator, you can then click the mode button. And as you can see here, I show you where the mode button is, which is here. You can then change it like math print. If you like the classic, uh, instead of the, the math print, which shows fractions with like a number with a bar like this and then a number you can go back to classic mode and choose enter but I do like the math print you can choose the normal scientific engineering the float your numbers radians and degrees I prefer to leave it in degrees rather than radians you can go down and choose a lot of different things you can even set the date on your calculator and right now I think the date is not correct but I could go down here and change it if I like so I'm navigating using my errors. So when I cut my computer off, it left the, the clock when I use my website. So I can go to set clock, enter. I can choose the format, which is month, day, year. I prefer that. So I go now, I chose that one. I'm going to come down. The year is 2021. You can change it by navigating through it, enter it on your calculator. It is now the 12th month instead of 11th month. I go down the day's date. The day is the 8th, so I go oh, 08. I prefer the 12 hour format. The hour currently is 3. I'm going to put 13. I come down and it's PM. Oh, I got the hour, I'm sorry. So it's 03. Go down, 13. It's now 14. Go down, and then you can choose or go over. You have to enter that in there. Then you go over, choose PM. You then you go down and hit save, and you've now entered the time. You can change your language, but I'm finished with mode, so I go sack it, quit, and it takes me back to my calculator. Now I'm not going to spend a lot more time going over the features of the calculator, but comparing the TI 84 Plus CE with the old, and I do have the TI 83, and this was my go-to calculator for the longest time, because this is what I used when I was in college. As you can see here, you can do 4 fifths plus 3 8, and it comes up with a decimal answer. So you can work with fractions, but that's the old classic way. Here you can work with fractions, and it comes up into a fraction, but again, you can go to alpha y if you want to convert the fraction to a decimal. So I now I do like the TI-84 plus CE. So hopefully this video has helped you understand how to uh, get the installation file for Windows, Mac, Linux users. Now it's not really going into how to use all the features of the TI-84. If you'd like to know more about the TI-84, I have multiple links. Now this is directly for the, the TI-84 plus CE, the guidebook for the CE, TI-84, and this is CE. But these are really for the TI-84. The TI-84 and the TI-84 CE are very similar. The only difference is the normal TI-84 doesn't have the color graph. But other than that, a lot of the features in these guides here will work for the TI-84 uh, plus CE. Hopefully this video has been helpful in helping you understand how to install and how to use the basic features such as the math print for the fractions to appear as they would written on paper and your colors that you have on graph. And that's what makes the TI-84 Plus CE different than your normal TI-84 and your TI-83 Plus calculator of years past. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.